good evening everybody on behalf of uh, ari foundation uh, i warm you welcome to the online webinar on vedya shakti vermam therapy for cerebral palsy uh, today being a world cerebral palsy we thought it would be an apt session to engage with the parents of the special children affected by cerebral palsy so let me start the program i will be the host of the program my name is suresh manoharan i am director of uh, ari foundation and uh, this program will be in four slots uh, i will give a general introduction about uh, our institute and uh, a little bit about what we have done with reference to the special children in the past and it will be about 5 to 8 minutes and followed by uh, one of our medical officer who will be sharing her experience of uh, utilizing vedya shakti varman therapy for special children and subsequently dr n shanmugam our chief mentor will be giving the core content of the webinar and followed by i will come back in the concluding session to uh, discuss about what is the way going forward so this will be the session uh, split uh, split up into next four slots so now let me take you to the presentation so ari foundation ari foundation is formed to conduct research in the ancient indigenous system of indian medicines like the vedya shakti varmam and make it available for the benefit of the public so with this the ari foundation has been formed in the year uh, february 2016 it is a registered not for profit organization it is formed under the section 80 uh, section 8 of companies act section 8 of companies act is the one which has the maximum transparency because every operation or every financials which we do are all posted on the website of registrar of companies so it gives the maximum transparency in our operation and ari foundation is headquarters at coimbatore tamil nadu india and uh, little bit about project watsal ibavam it is one of the project that is uh, spearheaded by ari foundation the aim of the project is to make vedya shakti varman therapy available to all children with special needs so to, though the today's webinar is limited to cerebral palsy this vedya shakti watsal ibavam uh, is uh, for all children of it could be uh, adhd autism down syndrome global developmental delay we like to cover the entire spectrum of the special children with that aim watsal ibavam project was launched and uh, though ari foundation is the one which spearheaded it it is supported by its sister organization namely arts research institute and thirumular vermology institute and uh, arts research institute is a registered charitable trust that is formed in uh, 2005 and it is uh, the one which is running 20 plus vermam therapy centers in different parts of tamil nadu and the neighboring states of india yeah, like uh, karnataka pandicherry and andhra so arts research institute has medical officers and volunteers who have more than 15 years of experience in handling special children and thirumular vermology institute is the one which is uh, trained more than 5000 ayush doctors and also more than 10000 public in the vedya shakti varman therapy and uh, it has again more than two decades of experience in terms of training so whatever the treatment methodology or protocol which you are going to see is all proprietary methods of thirumular vermology institute which they are sharing as part of the watsal ibavam so what is the background behind this uh, watsal ibavam is as i said arts research institute has been treating special children for last 15 years typically the parents bring their child twice a week to our uh, therapy center for vermam treatment so a child in a month usually gets about eight vermam stimulations per month that is two sessions per week into four weeks is eight stimulations per month what we found is like if we can increase the number of vermam stimulations per month we, we we felt that we could see much better faster result and a better result so that is what we tried to do what we did was we assumed that if we can train the parents in vermam therapy stimulation so that they can do it for their child at home twice a day it means it is 60 stimulation so we are looking at more eight times more treatment being given to the special child 
to achieve this what we did is through camps we started training parents of special children and those parents started giving the treatment to the their child at the comfort of their home so if you can see the vachali bhava what we took is to limit the number of children who can be brought into the camps so we took uh, children up to the age of 18 years and as i said before we took all spectrum of special children cerebral palsy autism global developmental delay adhd down syndrome and each child when they are brought into the camp is individually examined by a team of allopathy or siddha or ayurveda or homeopathy doctors here you can see that our institute in our institute the vedic shakti varman therapy is utilized by uh, medical professionals from all fields it could be even allopathy siddha or ayurveda or homeopathy so we utilize the expertise of all the doctors and these trained doctors recommend specific varman therapy for individual child it is not like a mass treatment each child is examined and each child is given a specific treatment protocol and that treatment protocol is trained to the children's parent child's parent using wire of volunteers and uh, subsequently to ensure that they understand it we gave them a handbook on varman therapy the handbook has step by step photographic illustration of how to do it in addition to that we also gave a cd containing the instructional videos of the varman therapy just to give you a glimpse of this is one of the camps that is conducted so this is our registration department where we uh, register the child and and if you can see this is a doctor's assessment as you can see each child is assessed by a panel of doctors individually so this is a camp in which 633 special children attended and benefited and each child was assessed individually by our doctors team and subsequently the parents were trained so this training session might look little bit haphazard if you go narrower you can see that each child and their parent were trained individually by two volunteers so each parent was taken care by a two volunteers who train them on their child how to do a vermum application and to engage the children we had a play area we had a children snacks and everything and this is the list of camps which we did we did four major camps and then three minor camps in chennai so in total if you can see within one year that is in the year 2016 starting from february to october within a span of nine months we have reached 2935 that is almost close to 2000 special children and their parents and all these workshops were conducted totally free of cost though our institute spent on uh, about 85 lakhs for conducting all those four major camps and three minor camps no money was charged to any of the parents so this was our background experience in handling e in that one year alone nearly about 2000 special children and not only that subsequently to the camp we had review meetings also happening after 6 months after the camp and not only that as said our sister institute grants uh, about 20 plus treatment centers starting from 2016 when we started this camp till today any special children that visits our therapy center are treated free of cost no charge has been given, laid on them till now and uh, so the purpose of this webinar is to bring the same benefits to maximum number of special children so we thought with this covid happening uh, we are not able to do physical uh, workshop or we are not able to do a physical uh, camps where people can come and go so we thought we utilize the modern technology of online webinar and uh, we are surprised and even honored to see we have uh, participants registering from more than 16 countries for this webinar as of now uh, there have been uh, starting from australia to us to united arab emirates to uh, finland we could see the entire global picture over here from the from our registration so and all these things happen because of our mentor chief mentor and varman shuttle science researcher dr n shanmugam he is 
uh, his doctor comes from his phd in tamil he is not a medical doctor but a doctorate so he is a professor and head department of tamil sri ramakrishna mission vidyalaya college of arts and science and uh, this vera shakti medical wormology was conceptualized and designed by dr n chandu it is an indigenous ancient indian medical science and it is based on subtle energy science more about this will be discussed by dr n shanmugam during his session and uh, ayurvedic doctors do it, learn it as marma chikitsa and practice it siddha doctors learn it as siddha varma and practice it so this is the background about vera shakti medical wormology which was conceptualized by dr n shanmugam he has learned and practiced this session from 1978 so he has more than four decades of experience in vera shakti varma therapy and he has learned this science from more than tradition 75 traditional masters under gurukula method he has done research on more than 120 different varma manuscripts and he has trained 5000 plus ayush doctors in varma therapy his expertise is uh, recognized by various government institutions like out of uh, 18 members has been formed uh, as a expert group on varma chikitsa by central council for research and ayurvedic science throughout india and he is one of those members he has been nominated as a member for varmam subcommittee by central council for research in siddha again these two divisions are from the ministry of ayush that is the apex body of ayush treatment in india he has nominated as varmam trainer by the indian medicine and homeopathy department in chennai uh, by the government of tamil nadu train, to train more than 800 ayush medical officers and even the central government institutions like uh, defense research and development organization has utilized his expertise to conduct how varmam can help soldiers in high altitude low oxygen condition and he has been invited by government of kerala to train doctors specifically using varmam therapy for sports injury he has been a resource person for various government and private siddha and ayurvedic medical colleges so this is a small background about our uh, institute and what we are doing and what we have done with reference to the special child now i will be handing over the session to dr kanimoli kindly bear with me he has more than a decade of experience in working with us in our uh, uh, arts research institute as medical officer so she will be sharing her experience of decade of work with us in terms of treating the special children uh, to over to you dr good evening everybody i am dr kanimuri i am a siddha physician okay. now i am sharing my experience in the field of cerebral palsy every, every year about 6 to 600 to 700 cerebral palsy children are treated at our 21 varmam therapy center that is tirumular varmam research and therapy center her observation is that veda shakti varmam therapy helps those children to achieve their developmental milestones for uh, for other people those who uh, don't know about cerebral palsy i am giving uh, one line definition for that cerebral palsy is a disability in movement movement balance and posture due to the lack of blood supply during the childbirth there are four kinds of developmental milestones should be achieved by the children every children that are motor motor uh, development fine motor development speech and language and social communication development for the cerebral palsy children they don't have all the uh, four uh, milestones they don't uh, they have difficulty in achieving these four kinds of developmental milestone the first one up is gross motor development for a for that the child should have neck head control without head control they can't move they don't have, they don't have to they don't have a neck control means they they are unable to sit or do any kind of physical activity through the veda shakti therapy Three to four, uh, within three to five months, neck control is achieved. After that, 
sitting with support and without support can be achieved we are all doc documented this in our k sheet uh, two two kinds of cerebral palsy are there spastic kind and floppy floppy kind spastic in, in this uh, spastic kind of cp the child will be having a scissoring type of flex and the uh, uh, muscle sore and contracture type for uh, those people cannot walk walk uh, with or without support they have scissoring legs toe walking the uh, muscles in the ankles are very tight so that they can't walk through this therapy the stiffness in the muscles can be reduced very much so uh, we can achieve the walking and uh, walking with and without support milestone regarding the regarding the fine motor the child can achieve hand grip hand grip and hand eye coordination easily uh, they also have tremors mild tremors or body imbalance muscle incoordination will be there through this therapy we can achieve the body balance and very good improvement is seen in uh, seen regarding the speech development speech and language development the clarity and the pronunciation are very much developed uh, and regarding the spinal deformities most of the cerebral palsy uh, children are having uh, kyphosis uh, the, uh, that is spinal spinal cord will be in a forward bend or sideward bend conditions that can be improved 60 to 70% through the vedasati therapy Uh, where there was a the warm-up therapy treatment. Uh, even though in modern uh, modern allopathy treatment have surgical correction uh, for uh, this kind of uh, spinal deformities, for CP children many complications are uh, there for uh, performing that surgery. So we can uh, use this vedasati therapy for correcting the uh, spinal deformities. For female child uh, uh, during puberty time. Uh, the scoliosis and kyphosis may be a great problem uh, for the female child so we can use this therapy then most of the cerebral palsy ayyo now if i now i hand over the session to dr n shanmugam chief mentor of ari foundation good evening all today is the world cerebral palsy day it is not a happiest day for us this is the day is remember us to take care of those children affected the cerebral palsy the veda sati medical vermology in this title there are three vocabularies medical you all know the meaning of medical the word var vermology it is coined by myself in the year 2000 i sent a proposal for ugc university grant commission in india for a major research project to develop this science that time i put a word a coining a word the vermology the third one is veda sati the veda sati word introduced by saint tirumola the tamil tradition the 5th century what is the meaning of veda sati veda sati is a energy form the world or the universe filled with energy form that same energy filled into our human bodies which is called as varma that is why the veda sati varma the varmam and marmam are the two words two vocabularies the varmam in tamil popular generally tamil people are popularizing this word varmam the marmam is sanskrit and malayalam 
the both words are both vocabularies giving the same meaning the semantical meaning and the functional values of this word are the same the word marmam is the oldest vocabulary in the language even in the tamil also the varmam the word we availed in the 17th century only so the word varmam and marmam are this are the same in the semantical value and functional value also next we go for the veda sakti definition what is the veda sakti veda sakti is the fundamental energy which is responsible for the proper functioning of not only human body all living beings body mind and the life force life force meet jiva the veda sakti is the fundamental energy for all these three in a human body veda sakti varmam point what is the veda sakti varmam point the energy veda sakti placed in a particular place which is called as veda sakti varmam point the energy in the form of spinning condition spin in a particular area oscillating and running moving towards one place to another place jumping like a horse or rabbit these are the function of the veda sakti energy the those energy that that type of energy deposited or functioning in a particular place in our body that is nerve and muscular junction bone junction and every, every where which is called as veda sakti varmam point the veda sakti varmam point regulates vata pitta selatma all our indigenous especially the indian medical system the siddha ayurveda and whatever indian medical system based on vata pitta selatma according to veda sakti varmam the veda sakti regulate the vata pitta selatma these three are mentioning in our system which is called as three tadus muttadus tadus means nutrient the veda sakti plus vata responsible for development of organs in the physical body all the physical body develops in the fetus with the help of veda sakti and vata veda sakti energy and vata for example liver want to develop in the its full condition the veda sakti and vata develops the liver not only liver all the external and internal organs develops by the vata plus veda sakti energy the veda sakti and the pitta energy responsible for the function of the organs the internal organs or external organs function with the veda sakti energy and the pitta the shilatma the veda sakti and the shilatma is responsible for the protection of organs and its function commonly the veda sakti varmam theory says the shilatma is the protector of the body function and the body organ so we the veda sakti varmam is based on these three tadus for example saramudichu saramudichu is located on this wherever the c7 and the thoracic one meeting point on our back below the neck which is called as saramudichu the saramudichu is full of vata vata energy each and every points by veda sakti varmam points has three energies that vata energy pitta energy and the selatma energy the vata energy predominant in a particular place which is called as vata varmam the pitta energy predominant or maximum 
functioning in a particular point which is called as pitta varma this saramuduchu is vata and veda shakti energy if you give me a touch in a proper way on the c7 and the thoracic one meeting point below the neck you can energize all the organs internal and the external organ which is called as vata varma likewise each and every point connect with vata pitta sleetma next the functioning of veda shakti the regulate the panchabodas in our indian system not only indian system asian medical systems based on panchabuda tatva all the panchabudas regulates by veda shakti energy all the panchabudas you know the akash the space energy vayu there are different types of vayu in our body we don't explain the details agni jal water energy and prithi energy next one for example the akash puta regulate other four budas in human body whenever the all agash puta properly function into human body the agash puta regulate all other budas in the body and the body functions the brain nervous system and the subtle nadi system the subtle nadi system is a special system for our veda shakti varma are controlled by akash puta in another word the agas puta filled with the brain and the subtle nadi and the nervous system suppose the agas puta not in the proper function in our human body the brain leads to cp like conditions because the brain is the form of akash energy when the brain get or the agas energy get a damage all the brain nerve system not only nerve system many number of subtle nadis there are 72000 subtle nadis moves all over the body that nadis also get damage that is why the cp like conditions leaves for example the next one the veda shakti varmam point for regulating the akash puta if you go through if you go into the veda shakti varmam first you came to understand what are the points connect with which puta for example a cp child if you want to treat a chief cp child cerebral palsy child first you have to enrich the akash puta in the body the tiller the column and the chelikutti column both are formed with akash puta the akash energy filled in that point if you give you a proper application that particular point tiller the column many of you know came to know the tiller the column tiller the column is the meeting point of both eyebrows and nose which is called the tiller the column which is the center of akash center of akash if you give a proper application the akash puta generate and distribute the energy and regulate other four budas not only the other four budas it generate the energy for vata pitta sleetma also this is the tiller the column then there is lot of subtle nadis and physical nadis touch in the particular point so the akash puta you get stimulation our brain get activate next the chelikutti column which is the second akash puta points if you treat a cp child or any special category child first you have to stimulate or generate the akash puta and regulate the akash puta this chelikutti column chelikutti column chelik means ear behind the ear lobe there is a small pit which is called as chelikutti column 
if you give me a proper application on the chevy kutri column we will teach the later part of this session the ahash puda get awakening and get proper function and you would chew the ahash puda regulate all other budas then if the ahash puda get a proper function the brain organ not only a brain organ the nerve system and the subtle nodi system everything get activate next next very important buddha for the treatment for the cp child is vayu buddha the vayu buddha is regulate proper functioning of the human or the body if the vayu buddha deficit in a particular baby's body the motor energy disorder the nerves tendon muscle stiffness limbs weakness everything will come which is called as cp child for example very very mild cp the calf muscle get tightening some babies many babies came with toe walk it is a mild cp condition when the baby walk on toe immediately we should concentrate the calf muscle of the baby when the calf muscle get tightening the baby walk with the toe it is a very very mild likewise many types of cp conditions the disorder of vayu buddha in the baby's body we should correct the vayu buddhas through the veda shakti varman point next we the anda kalam and vilangu varman the both varman points the veda shakti varman points are generate and regulate the vayu buddha in our body for example the anda kalam which is located in between the anus and the reproductive organ in between the anus and the reproductive organ which is called as anda kalam enormous prana shakti stored in the particular veda shakti varman point if you give a proper application the vayu buddha not only the vayu buddha prana shakti spread all over the body and relax all the tightening of the nerves tightening or uh, tendon tightening or muscle tightening all the tightening get relaxed next one the vilangu varman which is also has a prana shakti to enhance the prana shakti the meeting point of collar bone and shoulder there is a small pit which is called as vilangu varman if you give me a proper application we will learn the application in the later session if you give me a proper application the lung get sufficient oxygen not only oxygen it get the enormous prana shakti spread all over the body not only all over the body it supplies energy to hands and legs and the internal organs lungs liver all the vital organs get energized by this varman application next one there is a protocol we follow for spastic cerebral palsy not only the uh, spastic cerebral palsy the flaccid cerebral palsy also we can give this protocol for example the first one is condecoli collision the blue color letter the condecoli is the crown of the head the vertex of the head we will see the next slide panchaputa all the panjabodas stored in a particular place our head or the crown of the head till the kalam which is akashputa each and every varman point filled with panjabodas if you want to stimulate first you came to understand for what purpose we going to stimulate a particular varman point what buddha's necessity for the particular baby the kondekulli is all the panchabuddhas are there till of the column 
is the Akash Puta. Chavi Kuti Kalam, you listen here. Chavi Kuti Kalam, if you give a proper application on Chavi Kuti Kalam, the Akash Puta get stimulate not only the mind, the manas, the manas also normalized. Then Muduchi 4, the 4 Muduchu stimulate the Vada Pitta, regulate the Vada Pitta and the Sulaitma. Kauli Kala is one of the important Veda Shakti Varma point. It get, it stimulate the, get energy through this Kauli Kalam. If you give a proper application on the Kauli Kalam, the brain get energized, especially the both side of the brain, the fourth hemisphere, then lungs, then Kauli Kalam gives the energy to the upper limbs. I will explain in the Varman point. Next, Kumbhari Column. Kumbhari Column is located on the our tibia bone. If you give a pressure, proper application on the Kumbhari Column, our brain get energized, lower limbs and the hip joints. Under Column, which is a Vayu Buddha center, which reduce the spasm. The Vilangu Varman improves the oxygen level. All these eight, all these eight points we will teach next. Because the first one is conductively. Listen here. It is lies on the vertex of the head. You take 10 finger measurement, the baby's finger measurement. You take the 10 finger measurement from the tiller the column, wherever the nose and eyebrow meeting place, from here to you take 10 finger, which is called as kondaikoli. Then you take a line on the ear side, which is called as kondaikoli. You give a proper application here, like this in the video. You see the video. You can get to the video in our center website also. This is the point. You keep your the three finger with the Kondaikoli. Each and every Veda Sati Varman point has its own width, length and the depth. You keep your three fingers like this and move left side and right side of the lateral movement then whenever you finish your finger movement you concentrate your mind and then wherever you start then move left and right and the end of the movement you keep your finger in the center point of the vertex this is the right functions When you touch this Varman point, all the 10 passages in our body get energized. All the 10 passages, you know, the both eyes are the passages, both ears are the passages, both nostril are the passages, six. Then mouth is on seven and anus and the urinary passage nine. The last one, the tenth one is the Tiladavaram, wherever the meeting point of eyebrow and nose, which is called the tenth passages. This is a special information we have released in this webinar meeting. All the Siddhas and the Rishis and the sages are mentioned. This is the tenth passage. If you touch the Kondaikoli in a proper way, all the ten passages get energized, not only ten passages, the brain organs also get energized. If you move left and right side, 
there is another vermum points are there which is called as periacondicoli periacondicoli means big condicoli which have the big condicoli the area is more than five finger spread eight more than eight vermum points including that areas if you move left and right it gives energy to our both hemisphere not only the both hemisphere it gives energy to our all passages the cp child every day should move should go the tools in a proper way the urine should go out in the proper way the nasal and the eye power and the ear and the taste everything get normalized if you give this condicoli vermum only is enough next one tiller the column and chemicuti column tiller the column when you touch the tiller the column by you follow this video you keep your middle finger touch here tiller the column and move three rotation right side and three rotation left side and lift it upward you can get the video clippings in our websites end of the session mr suresh monohar will explain this next one for this tell the column you that baby or the child will get a proper energy in the subtle body and the physical body in the tell the column there is a 10 types of subtle nodes meeting here not only subtle nodi a physical nodi from the tell the column reaches to our brain organ that is why the physical nodi also get stimulated through this telada column not only this the ahash putha also enhanced when the ahash putha get energized the ahash putha regulate all other four bodhas next one the chevikuti column is behind the ear there is a small pit you keep your middle finger the tip of the middle finger the pulp part of the middle finger on the telada column both sides in this video you can see a single side you can touch the both side the chavikutti column and give your rotation three times towards back and three times towards forward if you give me a chubby putty column like this rotation movement you will get a lot of benefits for the cp child this chubby putty column supplies energy to the brain the chubby putty column supplies blood in a proper way to the brain organ the chubby putty column supplies energy to the tongue the speech organs likewise the chavikutti column energizes the akash the chavikutti column energizes the four manas manam shuddha buddhi ahankara so the chavikutti column is very useful for the cp child not only cp the cp child all the special need kids next one the muduchu nanku the muduchu naal four the four muduchus are very important for this cerebral palsy child the first one is sara muduchu which is lies at the meeting point of neck and back meeting point of c7 c7 the neck has a seven vertebral columns 
the seventh vertebral column and the uh, thoracic first vertebral column meeting point which is called the saramuduchu then the tunnel muduchu tunnel muduchu is the vertebral eight thoracic eight and nine meeting point then the pasa muduchu which is the meeting point of thoracic 12 and lumbar 1 meeting point the last one is kumbaga muduchu on the sacrum bone all these four points generate the energy receive the energy from the brain and spread it to all over the body not only that it generate the budas it generate the vada pitta slaitma and it gives the strength to all the limbs all the organs all the body functions you can see the application which is very important you keep your middle three fingers pulp of the middle three fingers touch on the saramuduchu saramuduchu is this is the saramuduchu is a location this is the application next one is application this is the tunnel muduchu suppose the baby lie on stomach you can measure like this this is the pasamuduchu the sound the sacrum bone it is called as kumbhamuduchu first you find out the four muduchus location then you give the application the middle part of the middle three finger which is the very safe first application to give you a three rotation right side first you touch the saramuduchu the three rotation right side and the three rotation left side and drag your finger up to the next muduchu tunnel muduchu now you locate the tunnel muduchu then you give me a three rotation right side and the three rotation left side then you drag your fingers up to the pasa muduchu which is the thoracic 12 and the lumbar region meeting point first three rotation on the right side towards right side second three rotation towards left side then you reach us the kumbaha muduchu drag your fingers three rotation on the right side right towards right side and three rotation towards left side this is the four muduchus what is the meaning of muduchu muduchu is a junction of the nerve junction of the nadis meeting here the muduchu means there are five muduchus are mentioned in the text our institute Ari Foundation, not only the Ari Foundation, Thirumula Varmology Institute researched more than 20 or 25 years. Then we find out these muduchus are helping for those type of children, not only the children. Suppose your patient get damage on the spine, vertebral column, you can use these four muduchu. These muduchu energize the CP child and relax their legs and hands. Next one. This is Kauli column. Kauli column. Kauli column. The first web space. The junction of the thumb bone and the index bone meeting place is Kauli column but you don't touch the exact varmam place. There is a separate application. Kauli column application, you can see in this video. This is the 
point, the first web space in the hand, you keep your three fingers, the pulp part of the three fingers touch on the web space and giving a small pressure and release. You can give the both hands of the baby. You can get the video clippings in our Vatsalya Bhavam website. What is the use of this Kauli column? What is the use of this Kauli column? The Kauli column gives energy or getting stimulation of the both hemisphere, the both brain. Not only that, cerebrum, the both cerebrum get energized. When you give a proper application on Kauli column, the Cowley column controls the fits epilepsy. Definitely, it come uh, brings down the episodes of the fits and epilepsy. It energizes the brain. It increases the body temperature, and so on. Next one, we go for the Comberi column. Comberi column lies eight fingers above the ankle on the inner side of the leg, at the end of the bone, the tibia bone, inside the tibia bone, there is a Vedasati Varmam point which is called as Comberi column. You give you a proper stimulation by your middle three finger, pulp part of the middle three finger. The location find out. in this area, a yeah, subtle nodi, get three circles. That is why this place is very important. The pulp part of the middle three finger, keep on the Comberi column and give you a mild pressure. Whenever you give the application on the where the septi vermum point don't make painful application to the babies. Very mild touch is enough. Give you a pressure, mild pressure, three times inward and relax your fingers. Next one, this Comberi column gives energy to the lower limbs, hip joint. Not only that, the Comberi column reduces the epileptic condition also. It gives energy to our brain organ, especially the cerebrum, both cerebrum. Next one, the under column, which is located in between the anus and reproductive organs, the cross cut section picture also given. Now, how to apply? The middle part of the middle three finger, keep on the under column. This is the point. the location, you keep the middle part of the middle three finger and touch the under column and lift it upward three times. That is enough. The under column generate the prana shakti and spread to our body immediately you can feel the relaxation, the spastic 
child get a relaxation stiffness of the leg stiffness of the hand spine everything is get relaxed so every day suppose you will meet a cp child with spastic condition you give this under column four hours once four hours once for that baby definitely it will that baby will get a proper results relaxation the muscle and the sitting condition should improve and uh, walking condition also improve next one the vilang vermum is located it lies in the pit on the chest below the collar bone where the collar bone meets shoulder bone which is called as vilang vermum we use this vermum for the collaboration with our uh, drdo defense research organization also so in the same where shakti vermum point you can use for the cp child to enhance the oxygen level this is the point below the collar bone the collar bone meets the shoulder there is a small pit you don't touch by the single finger or you don't touch by a, a tip of the finger the middle of the three fingers the middle part of the middle three fingers you keep on the vilangu varmam and the three rotation towards medial or inside and the three rotation towards outside the outside rotation little bit speed we need that enhance the lung condition not only lung condition it gives the energy to the upper limbs and the lower limbs not only the lower limbs the even the spinal cord get energized the vilang vermum vilang vermum receives or increase the oxygen level and increases the prana shakti and spread the prana shakti to our four limbs next fits the for example this is the cp child with the epileptic condition you can use all those points in the morning and the evening suppose the episodes of epilepsy or fits occur in the every one hour you can use these three points the condecoli cauli column and the compiri column four hours once you can use the epileptic conditions or the episodes of the fits definitely comes down so these are the protocols on these days we will we released for the welfare of the cp child all over the world thank you next mr suresh manoharan will explain what are the details if you need more he will explain everything thank you very much thank you nath we will uh, i will just sh share my screen on so now we are in the last section uh the concluding session i think uh, when we saw the videos i think uh, some of the parents would have been perplexed with the complexity of it don't worry the recording of the session will be made available to you through both facebook and youtube and it will be in the ari foundation channel so whatever the entire uh, session along with the video in which the vermum stimulation is done that is will be available in addition to that the each video that was shown for uh, those 8 plus 1 9 points you can see in the uh, trimolar vermology institute uh, youtube channel also so this way you can familiarize yourself with the vermum stimulation we know it will be little bit uh, uh, difficult to or it might look like a difficult one for you when you just see it once but when you repeatedly see it you will be able to
understand it and able to practice it on your kid now i just want to do share a couple of uh, things on the do's and don'ts like uh, vela sakti varman therapy could be used as an add on so whatever treatment you are taking along with it you can use this uh, vela sakti varman therapy so that way both are complementing each other so if you are taking any medication it is fine to do all these exercises along with it and typically we don't advise to stop any medication without the doctor's advice whoever has prescribed you the medication anything change for example if you see a betterment in the condition of your child you discuss with that doctor and reduce the dosage or stop the medicine but don't do it by yourself and what are the do's and don'ts typically this uh, varman stimulation has to be done when the child is either in a sitting position or a lying down position and not in a standing position and the varman stimulation has to be done by your own hands and fingers please don't uh, poke or press down using any instrument like a stick or rod or anything like that because there are a couple of other uh, thoughts or uh, schools which uh, use sticks to press on a varman points but our institute doesn't encourage it because uh, as master was saying in one of his uh, presentation varman stimulation is more about a subtle energy so a uh, varman stimulation needs mild pressure alone Uh, when you uh, do it on your child the child should not feel anything uncomfortable so you do as gently as possible so the benefit depends on doing the right method or the right stimulation at the right location it uh, doesn't depend on how much pressure you are giving so don't think that the more you press or uh, on a varman point you will get more result no that is not the case so don't do excessive pressure on any varman points in fact excessive pressure can, could be contraindicated so please be very gentle with your kid and then some of the things are when your kid gets up from the bed okay after a sleep don't do it immediately you always give a 15 minutes gap from the time the child gets up to the time you do the these warm-up stimulation similarly after taking bath so when the uh, when your kid gets uh, takes bath you wait for 15 minutes then you can do these warm-up stimulation and uh, the varmam has nothing to do with food uh, you intake or the timing of the food so it doesn't matter when you do it and we recommend that for better uh, results you can do even thrice a day we have given the indicative timings morning is between 6 to 10 and afternoon either between 10 to 1 or in the 4 to 6 or in the evening between 6 to 10 as you can see we avoided the peak uh, heat in the sense in the mid afternoon when our temperature uh, is high in the atmosphere we avoided because your results will be little lower so it is not that you shouldn't do it but the amount of benefit you get will be lower so we skipped between 1 pm to 4 pm so other than that you can do thrice a day but for example you are a busy parent you are not a, with the child in the afternoon then it is fine you can do it in the morning and evening uh, it's all up to you so you can do even thrice that is fine if not possible twice if not once but keep it in mind the more the stimulation the faster and the better the results will be for the kid and uh, finally uh, what we are thinking is we know you might have a lot of doubts okay so this uh, a session had about uh, nearly 200 participants uh, both majority of them are uh, special children parents and also other medical professionals also joined but we will conduct small groups of uh, meeting only for the parents of the special children that way because right now your audio audio video interaction is cut off so that uh, there is no disturbance during the webinar but in the zoom meeting you will be we will be able to see you doing it you can share your video so that way we can you can uh, clear your doubts so don't assume that you will be left alone after this webinar in uh, based on whoever has registered with our uh, this webinar we will be contacting you and we will conduct small sessions where we can have more interaction clear your doubts before that please ensure that you go to our site see all the videos and ensure that you are familiarized with at least the basic movements location etc so that uh, doubts can be cleared later and in the future our plan is because all these things are uh, due to covid pandemic because typically we do all these workshop in person so that way we can clear 
only show where to touch, how to touch, how much pressure to give, etc. to a parent. But as you know, due to COVID, we already stopped our uh, program for last six months. I don't think in next six months also, we will be able to do a physical meeting. So that is why we have come to the webinar mode. So once this settles down, we will be conducting uh, Vatsali Bhavan camps just like what we did in the past. And even we are planning to have a one week residential program in Coimbatore. So for example, a parent who might not be able to come to a camp can come and visit our Coimbatore center, be there for uh, five days from Monday to Friday. Those five days you can get treatment at the same uh, for your kid. At the same time, we will train you so that when you go back home, you are uh, expert in doing those points which are required for your kid. So I think uh, with this, we are uh, coming to an end of the session and uh, uh, I will be sharing the uh, so, uh, links in our Facebook because uh, most of the questions that has been asked while the session was going, I was answering them side by side. But now the session is coming to an end. So we will interact through our uh, website and Facebook. We will be in touch with you and uh, thank you all. Thank you once again. And uh, thanks for Dr. N. Sharma, Dr. Kanimuli for uh, their presentation. Now I'll be closing the session on behalf of the Ari Foundation. Thank you again.